to see from simplygfx.org and today we're going to be learning all about the pen tool. And this is such a great inbuilt feature of Photoshop that allows for such flexibility and control when working with your images or creating freehand shapes. And in this video I'm just run I'm just going to run over some basics such as using it to create shapes, lines and parts, which means you can create some light streaks and neon shapes. And lastly, it is also a great alternative if you want to select or cut out parts of an image. So let's begin by finding our pen tool. And if you look to the left of your Photoshop, you can find this little vertical toolbar. And if you go down, you can see the tip of a pen. It's a little icon. And all you've got to do is right click it and select the top pen tool because that is what we're working with today. And with the pen tool, how it works is it creates little points and it will automatically connect them up for you. And when you're using the pen tool, what it will do is create paths for you. And I'm going to create one now just to show you what it looks like. So you can see here I've just created a straight line and it's just made a path for me, which means that there is nothing on the image except a path. There is nothing with color. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to create another path, I'm just going to delete that, and this time if I hold my mouse down on the second point I can curve it in any direction I want and it will bend the shape. And this might be quite a confusing concept if this is your first time using the pen tool, but after a while if you just get a blank document and just practice around, you will just get the hang of it very very fast and it is such an awesome tool to use if you don't have Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so now let's practice using the pen tool and add a little bit of substance behind the path. So selecting my pen tool again, what I'm going to do is make sure I've got some color on that first little square in the bottom left corner and I'm going to create a random path. And now what I'm going to do is make sure I've got a new layer and what you can do is create that new layer by clicking this little icon down here. So once I've got my path, what you actually want to do is go to your brush and make sure that you've selected one of these brushes. So I'm just going to select with one of the default ones and it's a hard round brush and I've put it on 10 pixels. And now what I'm going to do is go back to my pen tool, right click, and you can see it gives me three options with Make Selection, Fill Path, and Stroke Path. So what I'm going to do in this example is stroke this path. And make sure I've selected my brush as the tool. And this is when you have to make sure that you've already set your brush settings. Make sure that you've got the right brush type, the right brush size. And after selecting brush, I'm going to untick Stimulate Pressure and click OK. And what you can see is that it's filled in the path that I've created with the brush size. So now what I'm going to show you is how to fill a path with a pen tool. And to do that I'm going to create a new layer, make sure my pen tool is selected, and now I'm just going to um, get a triangle path. And to do that I'm just connecting the original um, point with the last point that I made and you can see the little um, the little shape beside the pen will turn into a little circle. So this will create a shape for us to fill and now what I'm going to do is make sure I select a color that I like. I'll just pick, I'll just pick a nice crimson color and then I'm going to right click on the pen tool, make sure I'm on the second layer and click fill path. And what this is going to do is ask you what color you want. So because I've already selected my foreground layer, I'm going to click foreground layer, make sure it's 100% opacity at normal blending and click OK. And this is going to fill my shape for me and then I can delete the path. So that's how you use the pen tool to create uh, lines, curves, and shapes. So now we can apply what we just learned onto an actual stock image. And what we're going to be doing today are some oh so popular light streaks that everyone's been making on YouTube. And with our new pen tool knowledge, we can make that very easily by creating a new layer. 
and making sure our pen tool is selected here. I'm going to start at the very top and begin my spiral of light streaks. And I'm creating a second point just to the left of his leg and curling this around by creating points on either side of the dancer's leg and then twisting just a little bit. And you'll get a feel for these as you create more of them. But I'm just narrowing the spiral down as I go um, as I go down and then finishing by twisting it to the right. And I'm going to get an electrifying blue for the color so I'm going to pick my brushes, select my foreground color and to do that I'm going to pick white. Then I'm going to go back into my brushes, make sure I've selected a hard brush for this particular light streak and I'm going to keep it at about 8 pixels making sure hardness is on 100%. Now going back into my pen tool, making sure I'm on the layer that I created, I'm going to right click and select stroke path. And this time I'm going to make sure my tool is on brush and stimulate, simulate pressure is ticked, which will actually taper the ends of the light streak I just created and click OK. And this is the finished result and now I can delete my path. Now what I'm going to do is double click my layer which will take me into layer styles and going into outer glow. Keep the default settings as they are which is opacity at 75% and noise at 0 and depending on what color you choose I'm going to pick like I said before an electrifying blue. So I'm going to pick like a nice deep blue color and I'm going to change up the spread and size a little bit. In this case I'm probably only going to mess with these two settings because um, everything else will just overcomplicate things. So I've put my spread to around 10% and size probably around 12, 12 pixels and leaving the quality the same I'm going to click OK and I've got my light streak. And to make this look realistic like it's curving around his leg I'm going to create a mask. To do that I'm going to select the little icon that looks like a little camera beside the half filled in circle right down here. And clicking that I've now created my mask and you can use the eraser tool but because um, I have researched into this and I have realized now that masks are very non-destructive um, and how they work is uh, pretty much you make sure you've got your mask and you can paint on black or white or grey and by using black you can erase the layer and by using white you can refill some of what you just deleted. So making sure I've got a soft brush I'm just going to be working on this mask and erasing some of the parts that I want to be um, hidden behind his leg. And I want this to look realistic so I'm just going to erase every second part that curves around and working down. And you can see it's really coming together. So I'm just going to finish up with one final erasing and with masks it's very easy to correct mistakes because if I decide oh I don't want um, this part of my light streak hidden behind his leg I can switch my color to white by pressing X and then filling it back in to correct any mistakes but since I do want this part erased I'm just going to switch back to black and erase this part out. So that was a very quick and simple intro to masks. So this is my final result and you can see it looks pretty realistic. You can add more if you want by creating new layers and using our trusty pen tool but I'm gonna leave it here and we're going to move on to using the pen tool to cut out and move parts of images. So the last thing we're going to do with the pen tool is use it to select and cut out parts of an image. So we know that we can use the magic wand and the quick selection tool, 
but sometimes they are not very accurate and can select parts of the image that you don't want gone. So I'm going to be using the pen tool to cut out part of his leg. And I'm just going to speed this process up just, to, just so you can see how it works. Now to select it, I'm going to right click and click make selection. And what this will do is convert my path into a selected portion. And what I can now do is cut this bit out and put this somewhere else. You can see this is just so much better because it gives you a really clear cut. And now I'm going to try do this with a shoe as well. Now if I do the same thing as I did with the jeans, right click, make selection, OK. It will make a selection around the shoe that I just um, used the pen tool on. And now I can cut that again, creating a new layer, I can paste it somewhere else. So now you've learnt how to select and cut out parts of your image with the pen tool. So hopefully you learned a little something something about the pen tool today. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Give it a thumbs up if it was. And I'll see you next time. Bye.